I'm a little bit excited. What you got? <laughs> You've obviously got something. What is it? Tell a everybody. A new <laughs> power bank to try out, Mazzy. Ooh. Now, hopefully, I don't know if it's going to work or not, it depends on the size of it, but the idea was to get rid of the three smaller ones we've got and use a big one, because we've got a new big one and it is supposed to be incredible. How many wattage is it again? It's a 2,000 and something. Wow, that's the biggest we've ever had, isn't it? No, we've had a few 2,000s. No, we've had a few 2,000s, but this one's bigger than 2,000, isn't it? It's got a bigger surge. This should work everything i think it says it works 99 percent right. of appliances mm, okay <laughs> so we haven't got it out of the box yet no it's from a company called ecoflow <laughs> it and it's big. there hello darling right mazzy can i get in it now yeah <laughs> right let's first do impression? this impression oh, i ain't seen it yet haven't seen it yet oh haven't you First impression is well packed. I wonder if it's in a box in a box. It's in some of this uh, polystyrene thing to make it. Very, oh, okay. Very so... well. Uh, oh, what was that? Nothing. Look at this, baby. Can I get it out, Mazzy? Let me get it over there. Look at that. EcoFlow Max. Okay, for one, I'm pretty pleased it's not as big as what the box initially, it scared me, <laughs> didn't it, you? <laughs> uh, no, I knew it would be well packed. Mm. Yeah, it's looking nice, isn't it? It's, yes. got, it's got an app as well. Oh, okay. Right, let me get uh, everything out, get yep. rid of the box and then move on. This is exciting. Right, I've just got the instructions out. So you get the actual thing, which is an EcoFlow Delta Max, this one, okay? I'll tell you all about it in a bit, just not yet. It comes with a little box with all the leads in. I've just been looking through the leads and instructions. Uh, quite interesting, really. You get uh, a lead for solar panels. We haven't got the solar panels, but it's the standard fitting, so it will fit most solar panels. It comes with a 12 volt charge for charging it in the car That's handy. or van. I don't know what this is for, I'll be honest. It's just a double. Don't know. Can you see that? It's like a DC. Um, yeah, two D DC to DC. So I don't yeah. know what that's for. But this I really like. A plug. <laughs> the plug. <laughs> the plug which charges <laughs> this up. And I'll tell you why. You just look at that. Where have I just put the other one? I just had one in my hand, Mazzy. A big chunky thing. Um oh, I see ya. This is our biggest one at the moment. So that is a thousand watt one. This is a two thousand watt one. So twice the size. And look at the size of the pack on the old one compared yeah. to the new one. It hasn't even got the big heavy it pack. It hasn't got a pack. Nope, that's it. Just a plug and a lead. I like that a I lot. I like that, yes. So all that weight and that bulk. Blah. Yeah. Don't need that anymore, just one little lead. Yeah. Keep nice, neat and tidy with that one, can't well, you? And there's something really exciting. I think, I haven't read into it yet, I think this charges in less than two hours. <gasps> no, I don't believe it, Mazzy. Two hours to charge this beast. Should we try it? I don't believe it. Come on in, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the power. So that is the power button in the middle there. I'm going to go into everything else as I play with them. But to start with, I want to work on this power. It's at 30% at the moment. I'm going to plug it in. I've just done my calculations. Uh, it should take 84 minutes to fully charge. You're going to put a stopwatch on? I'm going to put a stopwatch on. Right, okay. Let's put this to the test. Bear in mind, though, does it matter that we're on campsite and their electric isn't as powerful, let's say, as a home? If you uh, know what I mean. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go for it. So I just want to quickly show you the back of here. It's got this little flap. Lift it up. As I say, I'm not going to go into everything yet, but this is where we're going to plug it in. So we'll go for that now. And it's got a fast charge and a slow charge. I believe if it's on fast charge, it will use the battery. You won't get as many uses out of the battery. It sort of affects the battery life yeah. in the long run. In the long run. Yeah. So instead of a million uh, recharges, it'll only do 
900,000 recharges. Not that that is the amount of recharges no. it'll do, I'm just giving that <laughs> as an example. So, plugged it in. So it is on charge, it's on 30%. I'm going to press start on the stopwatch. Now, it's on slow charge at the moment. As you can see, there's 389 watts uh, coming in. I'm now going to put it on fast. Which would have took four hours, yeah? Uh, would it have taken a four hours yeah. to recharge? Oh yeah, that, it shows you yeah. how many hours. So now it's saying three hours. It's still going up. It's now over 500 uh, watts input. It's still going up. 530 watts input. We're just gonna have to leave it. It's on 31% already. <laughs> but it's, it's not changed to two hours, has it? No, well it's got no. to take 80, what did I say? Oh, 86 80 or something. something minutes. Yeah. So it's, we'll just leave it. Yep, got the stopwatch on, yeah? I've got the stopwatch on. We'll just leave it, see how it gets on. If this charges in 80 odd minutes, I'm gonna be so impressed. I think we've come to the conclusion that this is not going to charge within that two hours because we're on a campsite. The thing with being on a campsite is it's usually only about 10, 12 amps you're getting in. So there's not as much power coming in as you would have on a, a plug in your home. But we're gonna keep it running, see how it goes on. It has now gone down to two hours. It's on 36%. Just have another little look. It's on 43%. It's now saying one hour. And it's 25 minutes gone. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Come on, EquoFlow. And one thing I didn't notice, this was on 500 and something. There's now an input of 1,175 watts coming in. Come on, you beauty. Another quick update. We're up to 65% charged. It's been 52 minutes. 1,224 watts input. We have turned the fridge off. We don't know if it's making a difference. We've turned the fridge off. Uh, we've turned the heating off. Nothing being powered at the moment in the van. Only, the, you know, There's not much being powered, no. Nothing. <laughs> um, but what we have noticed, we were thinking, well, that says one hour, two hours, three hours. It's not very accurate after an hour. But it's actually gone into Hi. minutes now. It's in 50 minutes. Okay, so we have fully charged the EcoFlow Max. What is it, what is it called? I keep... I keep forgetting the name of it, something Max. I'll come back into that. It's an EcoFlow. It's an EcoFlow, <laughs> that's the company so, it's called Max. Can I just add, how we knew this was charged, the fans went off. The fans <laughs> stopped going, yeah. Yeah. The fans have been going, mm -hmm. and I'm guessing this is because we've got it on fast charge and it's giving yeah. the ultimate. Right, so it's on 99%, and I'm thinking this is fully charged because it's never going to say 100 in there because it isn't big enough. The circle is big enough. So I'm guessing yeah. this is fully charged. Mm -hmm. What we have noticed is the actual charge input that was on 1,200, and it's dropping and dropping and dropping. When it got to 800, uh, 80 percent charged, it dropped to about 600 coming in. Then at 90, it dropped to maybe 300 coming in. Yeah, it kept dropping as uh, as this was getting more charged. It's as if it's slowing yeah. down, knowing it's yeah. nearly charged. So... How long did it take? Quick, stop it's the taken, timer. Well, let's take a minute off, because I've been blabbering on. Yeah, you have. <laughs> uh, one hour, 46 minutes, so 60... 107 minutes to go. Okay. 107. That, that's actually very good. My yeah. thing said it was going to be about 88 minutes, I think I said. 86? Um, yeah. But we've established it's because we've got fewer amps coming in because we're on a campsite. We're on practically half than a normal house, aren't we? Practically. Households, I think they have like 20 amps coming in. I, I don't know. I'm rubbish don't at know. things Someone like this. Someone let us know in the comments. But yeah. it will charge, fully charge, in two hours from zero to 100 on a household oh, plug. Oh, says 100, it's actually, I didn't think it would. How did that fit in there? Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think it would, yeah. Okay, so it has. And there's no input now, although it's still charged. It is 100% fully, fully, yep. fully charged. Right, you can unplug it. 
buzzing. So, yeah, it took a slightly bit longer because we're on a campsite and the amps are lower. Yeah. Um, but this will charge in two hours on a household plug. So far, so good. So we have established that this power station will charge faster than any other power station we've ever used and faster than any I know of. I don't know if there's any better than this. Um, two hours, three hours if you're on a campsite and it's a lower ampage. That's my rough estimates from my tests. Um, usually you're talking between 5 and 24 hours to charge one up this big. So that is incredible. Um, right, let's move on to the actual display. So I don't know if this is going to be flashing or not on the screen. It's basically at 100% at the moment. It's got a little blue circle here, which obviously goes down in the percentages. 99 hours, it's saying. Now, at the moment, there is a phone on charge. So it's trying to tell us that it will charge this phone continuously for at least 99 hours. Input. We haven't got anything coming in at the moment because we don't need it because it's already on 100%. Excellent. Output 10% at uh, 10 watts, sorry. Now, this is where I'm a bit confused. To turn the machine on, you've got a button here. It's now turned off. Press it once, one long press. It's on. Now, there is a USB button there. Press that, it lights up, the USBs will start working. You have got two USB A's, two super fast charge USBs, and two USB C's, 100 watt maximum. Right? That is a lot. That's more than I'm used to as well. But I have just done a test, okay? So I've been plugging this in. Um plugging an Apple phone in and it's saying it's using 10 watts okay and that is on the normal charge the thing I can't understand is I'm putting it into the fast charge 10 11 it's only going up one watt so I don't know if that depends on what lead you're using or what I'm not sure but the fast charge doesn't seem any faster to me using this lead but you know as I say it might be depending on the lead so that's the front of it it's as simple as that there's nothing else to know about it this is what i like about th these machines uh simplicity you don't want anything too complicated they look big they look complicated they look scary but they're not so again i'm going to do a little test on the usbs i want to know about this slow and the fast i don't really understand it i've actually plugged in my um i don't even know what this is P30 something, some kind of phone. So I'm plugging this one in. I'm going to put it in the slow. It is 8 watts it is coming out. I'm going to press a uh, stopwatch. Stopwatch is going. So it's on 85% at the moment. So we'll do this up to 95% and see how long it takes. And then we'll do the test on the fast charge, see if there's any difference. Okay, so that test is done. It's been fluctuating between 5 and 7 watts going out. Um, it's taken just under, let's say, 16 minutes to do 10%. You've got to remember, so basically that's for 10%. It would take 2 hours, 20 minutes to fully charge my phone. But you've got to remember, it all depends on what lead you're using and what phone. Um, this isn't the lead which comes with the phone, so it will be slower than the, using the proper lead. But what we're going to do now is unplug that. We're going to do exact, so remember 16 minutes, we're going to do the same test, um, exactly the same, but I need to now use my battery a little bit to get this back down, <laughs> because I've only got 5% to play with. So we'll get that below 90 and then we'll do another 10% uh, test. Okay, it's time for the next test. I've got it down to 85%. I've had to play games and watch YouTube for ages because the power, the battery on this t <laughs> lasts forever. So, it's plugged in. Let's press the USB. Notice it's still on 100%. We haven't used 1% yet since we charged it yesterday. Um, right, it's now plugged in. It's using 6 watts. We're going to... Oh, hang on, where's the clock? 
No, we need the clock. Where's the clock? Come on, clock. Clock. Um, reset, start. Right, the clock's on. It's on 85%. We'll see how long it takes on the... This is on the fast charge, by the way. <laughs> um, so I've done it on the normal USB-A ones. I'm now doing it on the fast charge. Personally, I don't think it's going to be any faster because it's the same what's going out. So we'll see anyway. Let's just give it its 10% and see if there's a difference. I cannot understand this. I really can't understand this. Exactly the same situation. I did close all the windows of my phone. Um, started at 85% using the same lead. And I keep turning this back on and off. Um, it's taken longer. It's taken 18 minutes to do it on a fast charge. So all I can say, I'm not going to say it doesn't fast charge, I'm going to say it must depend on your lead. Um, you must need a, a fast charging lead. I don't even think this is a phone charging lead, but it is a USB-C one. So anyway, moving on from that, I just wanted to do a little test just for my own benefit, but at the end of the day it will take two hours, 20 minutes to charge my phone on that lead. What I have noticed though, it's still on 100% and it's charged 20% of battery. That's pretty good. So we've looked at how fast you can charge the actual machine up, which is incredibly fast. We've also looked at the USB points. It's got, how many was it? Four, six of them. Six of them, three different types. Brilliant. Now we're moving on to the AC. Your plugs, your three prong plugs, Mazzy. We've got four. We've got four in there. Um, the biggest we've got at the moment has two. So yeah. four is a big bonus. Now it says in the instructions, you can plug in up to 2,400 watts, right? Mm -hmm. That's as strong as any we've had. With a surge, power surge of 4,600 watts, which is by far the best we've ever known. This is the most powerful machine we've ever used. So, we need to put it to the test. Has it really got a 4,600 watt surge? There's only one way to find out. Let's start plugging things in, Mazzy. Yeah. We've plugged things into his other one, which didn't work properly, wasn't quite there. This claims it will do 99% of appliances. Should we start with the... You're looking up at the microwave. Let's start with that. No, let's start with the kettle, because the plug's right there. Okay. We've never even managed to do a kettle before. And as for the microwave, we've only ever sort of got it on and it droned. Ooh, it never really worked. It, it's not been perfect. No, no, so, you couldn't have cooked with it. <laughs> let's. In fact, no. Let's start with your hair, hair straighteners because you've just been using them. So to use that, do you want to come down here? Yeah. Um, if you want to have a quick look at these, by the way, I'll just run through these. This is where you stick your plug to charge it. Um, that is fast charge, that is normal charge. This bit here is where you would plug in your solar uh, solar panels or if you were plugging into a 12 volt car charger to charge it by your car. And that, I don't really understand what that is, it's something to do with uh, protection, um, overload protection. So, not using that at the moment. At the bottom, You've got another one. Oh. <laughs> a 12 volt there, 12 volt, volt input, which has a very long thing on it. I don't know, understand why. Uh, to turn it on, obviously press that. And this is where them others I've mentioned earlier, which I don't really know what you'd use them for. No. <laughs> don't know. But we're concentrating on the AC, so you press the AC button in the middle there. These will now work. So, let's turn it round so you can see the display. You know what that'd probably charge actually? My battery charger that I have beside my bed. That's like a DC adapter on there, isn't it? Probably, yeah. You know, like the um, connector, I mean, sorry. It probably would. Yeah. <sighs> so, let's plug your hair straighteners in. Yep. Are these usually very powerful, Mazzy? Mm, I, I can't tell you about wattages and stuff, but if it gets really hot in the hands, really hot, oh no. Well, it's on. It's using two, 233 watts, okay? Easy, yeah. easy for this machine. Let's unplug that. Let's try the kettle. 
Come on, yeah. let's do a test on, on the proper thing. I'm going to put the kettle on now. This is a big test. Do you sure you don't want to start off small? I want to go for the kettle, Maddie. Like, let's say a hairdryer or something. Wow, it's up to a 2,000. It is using 2,000 watts already. The kettle is on. It's yeah. never managed to boil a kettle We've before. We've never been able to boil a kettle. Never. No. The thing is, as the kettle gets hotter, I believe and, it uses more power normally. And also, I've noticed, depending on how full it is, like ah, we're right. on campsite and I'm only just doing a little bit okay, well of that's, water. That's quite full. Well, it's yeah. half full. Yeah, because I probably just filled that. It's just hanging around 1,980 watts at the moment. So come back to us. We'll see if this uh, actually boils. This would be good for you, wouldn't it? Excellent, yes. No more gas kettles on yes, the road, Yeah, save gas. I wonder how much electric that's going to carry, you know, one battery percent, I mean. Well, looking so at this... So how many times can I boil the kettle? Looking at this, it would boil that constantly for one hour. But is that one hour 59 minutes? Oh, no, 59 minutes. So one hour. So how long does it take to boil a kettle? Two minutes? Uh, yeah. So let's say uh, 50 times you could do that. Okay, so it's just dropped the battery percent as well. Yeah, the battery but percent is dropping. you have charged phones and stuff on that last percent, haven't you? Yes, so it'll probably be almost on 99 anyway, but it's used 1%. It's going well so far, I think yeah. it is going to, it's going to do it. Boom! Boom! No problem whatsoever. Fully charged. Are you happy with that, Mazzy? Very happy. It's good, isn't it? Right, yeah. let's tr try something else. Very simple. Let's plug in your hairdryer. We've had trouble yeah. with this before. Most definitely. Yeah, if you grab that, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've only managed to do this on the top, bottom two settings. We've never managed it on the top. Yeah, it didn't really was as powerful on the top setting. So, let's go for it. Lowest setting. It's taking 430 watts, no problem whatsoever. You could use this for four hours, Mazzy. Yeah. Let's go up one more setting. 1035. That's yeah. the most you've ever managed to get it before. Are you ready for the highest? Yeah. 1750 watts working, no problem. So the fact is, so I can use it. I'm well happy with You're that. well happy, aren't you? Because yes. you've got your kettle, yep. you've got your hairdryer, and you've got your hair straighteners. Yeah. <laughs> what more does a girl want? You're happy. Yep. What about microwave? Are you bothered about microwave? Now and again, if we had a microwave meal, we only have microwave meals when we're on campsite, which would be really handy. If we could well, use it now and again, wouldn't it? I'll slap microwave on yeah, for you. Yeah, you're going to have to take dish out. It's metal. <laughs> I might need to uh, put an extension on to get it to reach down here. Oh, yeah. But I'll get it going, don't worry. Yeah. Come back to me. Now, it is yeah. going through an extension lead, so whether that takes a bit of the power away, I'm not sure. But, yeah. hey, it's plugged in. Shall we just go for it on... Yeah. Let's try it on low to start with. Oh, but I never have it on low. Well, let's just try it, it see works. what it uses. You see, even on low, it's using 1,143. Right. But it's working. Medium. Alright. Same. Yep. Full whack. Hi. Let me start it. Again. This is actually only, I think, an 800 watt microwave. Yeah, yeah. but it's the but surge. It's the surge. It's the yeah. surge. There so, you go. That's half of the kettle, isn't it? Practically. Well, well no, it's basically it's the surge which would normally make it stop or whirr. It normally goes. We've never been whirr. able to plug we this have into never a generator and actually have it working properly. Right, quick, turn it off. Why? Because it's going to blow up. There's nothing in it. It won't blow up. It'll just cook the plate. I don't know. I'll tell you what. That's brilliant. We can have an odd microwave meal now. I do need to do another test on it, actually. Just turn it back on again. I just need to see how long it will go for. Ooh. Two hours, it's saying. It's alright. Use the microwave for two hours. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> that is impressive. This has got the best uh, surge we have ever had on a power bank. 
Perfect. Brilliant. Right, one last thing that I would really, 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 really please me. Yeah. Because we only get to use this, this on will, campsite. This will work. 99% of appliances, Mazzy. You can throw 100 at me. Only well, one of them will work. Well, there's only one last one, really, that is put to the test. Everything else we know in the van, we know will it will charge on this. Go on, then. My tower, my active... Well, air fryer. Air fryer. Now, if we can you get to use that without having to be on a campsite, that's going to be a life changer. Let's isn't give it? it a go. I don't know. Shall we? You know, we haven't pre-tried these No, guys. not at all. I'll tell you now, we are just doing this straight in front of you, so let's I mean, plug it, it in, see what happens. Even if we got to just use it once or twice off campsite, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, turn it on. Oh, it's quite an high one. It's still less than the kettle. It's more than the microwave, less than the kettle. But it depends, again, it depends on the it's surge. Been, yeah, and also you can adjust heating settings and stuff. If it's on 160, that's usually what I would have it on. Well, it's on full blast, 200, highest temperature, going for it now. Yeah, so that's the highest. My gosh! And we it's can, going for it. We can get to use it now. Now and again, I understand. Can't An use air fryer. It all the time. Brilliant. The only downside I've said to this... Turn it off quick. I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Um, oh my goodness. That's ding, it. But, but, ding. The only downside to this is yeah. it will only power it for over an hour. So, and it takes like 30 minutes to make something usually. So you could only use 20, it twice. 20 well, minutes. Well, okay. You could use it maybe three times. It takes, that's a lot of use. Yeah, but if we only got to use it at least once while we're not on campsite. At the end of the day, it works. It, yeah, that's it what I was just going to say. Yeah, that is the beauty it? of it. Yeah. Some people might not be um, limited to electricity to charge this up again, mm. whereas we are. So that's fantastic, isn't that it? That is fantastic. There's nothing higher now, wattage, I don't feel, in the van that we need to try, is there? There's nothing higher that we've got. No. That works. This works everything. The EcoFlow, what's it called? The Eco, I keep, I should be saying the name more. EcoFlow Delta Max. There will be a description, um, link. A, a link in the description <laughs> where you can get this from if anyone's interested. Yeah. Um, there's something else I just want to show what, this has still got some more things I haven't shown you, so stay tuned. I've, I've stayed away from the best. That's coming yeah. up. But there is something else you can do with this and a lot of people don't realise, so I'm just going to take you outside and show you. So we're on a campsite, we have electric hookup at the moment, but this is just to show you something else you can do with this. You can plug it in to your motorhome and power your motorhome just like you would on an electric hookup. Um, with us, for example, we could put this in as garage, lock as garage, have it plugged into there and it will charge it. Now at the moment we've got a fridge on. And hot water. And hot water. Yeah. And hot water, yeah? yeah? Right, there's nearly 2,000 watts doing the fridge and the hot water. It will only last for 56 minutes, which is understandable. Uh, do you want to just turn them two off, Mazzy, and we'll... Yeah, okay, try it with the hot water off. That's now dropped to 261. Um, that's obviously using the fridge and just a few other little appliances in there. So that's six hours. Turn the fridge off. So how long could we power this without the fridge on, without heating on? It's gone down to 87, 87 watts. What's that, 18 or 19? 18 hours, 18 hours. Nearly a full day, that's like being on a campsite. You turn up at a campsite at tea time, you leave in the morning, that will run your van for the full for a full night. That is incredible. One last test. Yeah. And whenever we turn the diesel heater on, it does affect our leisure batteries. Do you want to test that? Yeah, go on, turn oh, the yeah? diesel heater on, yeah. This will be interesting because we are having power problems with our diesel heater at the moment. And this will tell us how much it actually right, it's on uses. Full blast. It will take a minute. Okay, so it started at 100 watts. It's gone up to 120, and it's going up. 
130. You're going to have to come back to me and we'll see what it's on when it's at full whack. So I don't know if you can hear that. That's our diesel heater on full blast at the moment. It takes time to kick in. Um, so I'm just going to check out what wattage we're on. Ugh. 81. How's it only on 81, Mazzy? I don't know, that's full whack as well, isn't it? And when you turn it down, heat down, it, well, that will reduce as well, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm not understanding that. But basically, yes. As it was powering up, though, you know when you hear it, it's sort of um, powering up the diesel heater. Yeah. It was on between 199 and 200. It was yeah, on it's 200. come down. As it's, as it's yeah. getting up to speed, it uses a lot more and then it stops. Yeah, it sort of slows down. So, we it's can have... Now, we can have our diesel heater on full blast with this plugged in for 22 hours. 22 hours this would keep the, the battery going in. Incredible. Incredible! So one last thing just to point out um, after all them tests, using all them very powerful machines to see, just for testing, it's used 9%. Not a lot at all for all that power which has just gone through it. So, we've now told you what it can power, how powerful you can plug into this. It's incredible, it's the best one we've ever had for what you can plug into it. Now, there are still some edging extras and I want to go through the specs with you. And you're going to be excited about one of them. Well, I am. I think it's a bit of a game changer. There's something about this which no other company is offering. Two weeks later. Been testing this baby out. Been using it. Been loving it. Okay. I've got all the specs to go through now. I did say there's some important things to tell you. Let's start with the weight. Okay. It is 21 kilograms. It's heavy. It's a bit of a beast. Uh, not going to lie, it's the heaviest one we've used. Um, that's its downside, I would say. The size is just under 20 inches by 12 inches by 10 inches. Capacity is 2016 watt hours. But the output, right, this is what's exciting. The output is 2,400 watts, right? with a surge of 4,600 watts. That's incredible. But it's got something built in. It's called EcoFlow X Boost Technology. It sounds cool, and it is cool. When it's automatically on. This actually comes with an app, right? And you can turn it on and off with the app. But it comes with this EcoFlow X Boost Technology already turned on. It's, it's just uh, automatic. And that will boost it to, to, to 3,000 watt output. So, although it's classing itself as a 2,400 watt uh, output, it's actually 3,000 watt. So you can plug anything into this, which is 3,000 watt, and you'll get away with it, no problem whatsoever. That's incredible. Now, it's also, you can buy extras for this, smart extra batteries. Um, you can connect up to two more. Now they're about 19 kilograms each as well. So it's really not for someone in a van. It's going to be too heavy. Um, but if you want thinking for extra power in your home, for emergencies and things like that, or for going to shows, you know, if you've got a trade stall, something like that, um, you can connect two more, which will, basically, if you have one more, it will double your power. Double. If you have three more, it'll triple your power. So you can have 6,048 watt hours. I've never heard of such power in a power bank. That is unbelievable. That's what these two things are for here. This is where, where are they? Ugh, I can't see them. They're not there, are they? They're this they are side. There. That's oh, what yeah. these are for. This is where you plug the extra batteries in. Okay. So if you wanted even more power than this gives you, you can, you can get that. Um, it has 800 battery charging cycles. I've done a bit of maths on that. So let's say you had to charge this once a week. That will last you for six years. 
and the, the chances that you're going to have to charge it every single week is very, very minimal. I can see this lasting 15 years, no problem. So if this one isn't the one for you, don't worry, they do lots of other products, ranging from 210 watt hours, a small one, up to 3,600 watt hours. They've got an even bigger one than this. So check out the website if, if you're looking for a different size. Uh, price. Now I'm going to go into the price. It's just about £2,000. I do not want people leaving comments on this video saying it's too expensive, it's too expensive. If you want a 500 watt hour power bank, you usually pay £500. If you want a 1,000 watt one, you pay a £1,000. If you want a 2,000 watt one, you pay £2,000. That is a pretty standard price um, for any power station from any company. So it's just the average price for, the, for one of these of this size. As I say, it comes with an app as well, so you can actually control it. You can uh, read how much power and things it's using from your app. You don't have to use the actual machine, which is pretty cool if you're in a big place, like a big shed or warehouse or something. Um, you don't have to keep going up to it. Right, that is my review of the EcoFlow um, Delta Max. Absolutely adore this thing. It is the most powerful we've ever used. We are, I think, going to be getting away from our three smaller ones and just having the one big one from now on. If you'd like to see a review of one of the smaller ones, go over to Urban Van Life, because I know he did a review on, I think it's the 1000 watt one. Um, you can go over and check that out as well. So thank you, EcoFlow. Um, thank you guys for watching. I know it's quite a long video, but we really wanted to put this to the test more than we've done with any of the others we've had. And this is the one which will do everything in our van. We love it. Thanks for watching. You, you guys take care and we'll catch you all in tomorrow's video. Good night.